Still no charges been filed against a hot dog vendor for the death of a former cop, and police say there likely won't be any to come. Sean Bordeaux tackled former Little Rock police officer Todd Payne to the ground last week, which resulted in Payne's death. Fox 16's Josh Berry joining us now with an update. And Josh, what are police saying, if anything? Yeah, well, Kevin, police say Payne died at the hands of Bordeaux, but it's his intent to protect himself and to hold for police that will keep him free of charges. The case, in the, the case is in the hands of the prosecutor tonight, who's trying to determine if there was anything that could possibly be seen as worth filing those criminal charges. We're told Payne, the former officer, came to Bordeaux's home Friday morning to settle a grudge. Ian Bordeaux says Payne had tried to light his cart, hot dog cart on fire for an article Bordeaux wrote about, his, about Payne in his corruption blog. After putting the fire out and calling police, he chased Payne into the street, tackled him. Payne hit the ground, we're told, faced first and died from his injuries. But we're told Bordeaux's intent to keep Payne from doing anything else that might cause his or his family harm is what will keep him free of those charges. At that time, the detectives did not feel that they had a, a case that would be strong enough to take to court. But it appears that um, right now that he's, he was just released without charges and it doesn't appear that any charges are going to be filed right now. There has yet to be an official determination. The prosecutors did not return calls we made to them today. Kevin? Back well, to you. Josh, let me ask you this. Obviously, you know, the, the prosecutor right now is pouring over the evidence that he has that has not been made to the public. But from what we do know, has there been a lot of support for Badeau? I mean, what's, what's the community reaction behind all this? You know, and that's one thing that we've seen, whether it's social media, hearing it from folks out in the town, there actually has been a lot. People willing to contribute to him. He lost a hot dog cart. I'm told he's got a couple of more to keep his business going, but he's got four kids to try and take care of. So there's a lot of people that are, you know, compassionate for that side of this whole case. You know, it'll be interesting to see what the prosecutor comes up with. Thanks, Josh. The